everybody, welcome in to the final edition of Crochettober slash Vlogtober 2021. I am Deborah of Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. If you're if this is your first time here, welcome. Um, it can be fun. Stick around. I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, hit the like button on your way in or out. Leave me a comment if you'd like as well. This is day 31 of Crochettober slash Vlogtober. And um, it has been an absolute blast. If you don't know, I do happen to love Halloween. I love all things, you know, kind of spooky and some people think they're kind of creepy. Like my shirt here, this is a shirt from Torrid. It has got skulls and flowers and roses all over it. Yes, I will wear this year round. This is not just a Halloween look for me. The ears, maybe just a Halloween look. I made these, I was trying to follow a pattern and it didn't quite work out so I did my own thing. There you go. Little kitty ears, round. And I do have my Dia de los Muertos earrings, little sugar skull, and uh, happy Dia de los Muertos to everyone out there who celebrates. Think of your families and enjoy, okay? Uh, what else is going on? Well, last night, uh, I went to Mad World, finally! Yes, it was so much fun. Had an absolute blast. I do have a couple of things to show. First off, we played Ghost Town Mini Golf, and um, I won. Two of us that played. That was me. Out of eight, yes, they had 18 holes on their little mini golf course. I was really surprised. I was expecting it to be kind of small. No, it was kind of big. And on the very last hole, you are seeing correctly, I got a hole in one. Woo! Haven't even attempted mini golf in over 30 years. So I was kind of proud of myself. It was fun though. We had a good time. A lot of little spooky things going on with the golf thing. And yeah, yeah, it was good. It was fun. They had lots of games and we played some games. They had face painting, but I didn't bother doing that. I did get myself a, a shaved ice kind of thing with a raspberry cherry and they added, you know, sour flavor because you know me, I'm all about the sour flavors. And uh, my tongue was blue and I came home and then my lips were actually stained blue. It didn't finally come off until today. Today though, I've had people ask what I wear for lipstick sometimes. This is what I'm wearing today. It is a Clinique Crayola Chubby Stick Intense. So let's see if that'll it would help if I showed it. Doesn't show up that well that way. It is well loved. You can see it's worn down. And these are like more like lip glosses like a lip balm with some color. The intense ones have more color. This one is in the color red violet, just because that's what I was feeling today. Get the red violet out. Love it. It actually comes in a case that looks kind of like a Crayola crayon case, because y'all know I've got a crayon problem. I do. So there is that. This is some happy mail that will not be shown right now, later on today or tomorrow. It's a happy mail that I ordered, so I know what it is. But now you have to wait just a little bit to see. Okay. Oh, also from Mad World, I do have to show you. They, they can take your picture on the way in and then they put it on this thing that makes it look kind of 3D-ish. It's actually very cool. I get one. We get one almost every year. Uh, me and my friend Sean go. Jamie is not a fan of going to haunted house kind of things and he would have a really hard time getting around. It is a long, long trail and the line to get into it. I think they're making, making sure that you're fit enough to go through the trail going through this line. Because we, we got there early and we still had to wait almost an hour just to get to the trail. And then I think that was like a 40 minute walk through, maybe a little longer. Everything from chainsaw wielding maniacs to people practicing cannibalism. A lot of clowns too. They had a whole clown house. Ooh, if you're scared of clowns, you would not have a good time at this thing. Some fun stuff though. There was also swinging meat for some reason. Yeah, but seriously, if you ever get a chance to go to Mad World, they're open next weekend. So if you're in the Southeast, if you're anywhere near the Greenville, South Carolina area, um, it's worth a look. Just check them out. But the picture that we got, they take your picture on the way in. Let's see if I can block some glare. That's not even possible to block the glare, but you can see me wearing my big skull shirt. And I have my little skull hands in my hair that time. So, yeah, we had a good time. And all the way in, yes, it's a long wait to get into the, the haunted house. 
but on one end of it they have got like music videos being played and blasted and it's all kinds of music including some stuff from the 80s uh and the early 90s because they started playing vanilla ice that people of a certain age like myself tend to know every word but you know what i wasn't the only one there were some other folks of a certain age and we were singing along and dancing along and then somebody I didn't even know was like, these young kids don't even know. And we fist bumps. And I was like, this is fun. <laughs> you know, all kinds of music. Then they played some weird country rap stuff that I had no idea what it was. And I'm like, what is, uh, you know. But then you get to the other part of the line, which is, um, this is a huge place. And there's a DJ up on top of the haunted house thing. And uh, he's spinning some jams. And sometimes the monsters go up there with him and throw out t-shirts to people. I didn't get one of the freebie t-shirts, but at the end, I always try to pick up some kind of a souvenir. I feel like I'm supporting a local small business because that's what this is. These are local people who work there who put on a fantastic show, okay? It is a lot of work every year. The makeup artists they have are fantastic. They've got awesome costumes and they stay in character and they're just lots of fun. And, um, they had a lot of different designs to choose from. All their t-shirts went up to a 3X. And I saw people wearing t-shirts. And I'm like, I want a t-shirt. So I bought a t-shirt this year. This, here we go. Mad World Haunted Attraction. Yes. I know what I'm wearing next year. I'm wearing my, haunted, my Mad World t-shirt when I go next year. Because you know, I will go next year. It's going to happen. Now, a big feature of the Vlogtober slash Crocheттоber extravaganza has been a blanket. We've been putting, I've been putting a round on every day. Okay, when I started at the beginning, I started with the spiderweb square, which is about everybody did. Some people did a little bit of a different square, but most people have some kind of a spooky square in the middle. Mine turned out to look more like a spiderweb mandala because it got kind of twisted and, well, that's what it ended up with. And in the first several days, I was putting on more than a round a day because I knew I wanted it bigger. And I knew that I wouldn't be able to do multiple rounds when it got towards the end. And boy, was that right. I just finished up yesterday's round and today's round a little while ago. So yesterday, I had this bright pink that I have. It's called Grenadine. Okay, and I believe that's a Red Heart Super Saver color. And today, I have this purple. I don't remember what it's called, but it is a uh, Big Twist value color that I had. And they both are earlier on in the blanket. Choosing the last two colors was kind of hard because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Got a lot of great colors in here. Look at how big this sucker is. Okay, let's see. Right now it's touching the floor and I'm almost six foot tall. And it's as wide as it is tall. So is that big enough? I think it's going to be cool. it look really cool laid out on my bed. I've got a dark purple, soft, velvety comforter kind of thing on the bed. And putting this on top of it will look awesome. And yes, it will look that way even when it's not Halloween time because the seasons don't dictate me. Okay? Although I'm unlikely to wear it white before Labor Day or whatever, after Labor Day or however that works. Because I don't wear a lot of white. I'm too messy for that, y'all. Gray, black, purple. Yes. White, ah, she spilled something again. Yeah, now you know a little bit more about me. But uh, yes, Crochet Tober and Vlogtober has been awesome. Thank you so much to Neva and Ashley and Kayla and Ella and Cindy and everybody else who participated and watched and joined in our little fun time and made comments and liked and shared. I really do appreciate it. This has been so much fun for me. This is the best community ever, okay? Now, the, the fun is going to continue for me on my channel. Um, my 500 subscriber giveaway, I will be picking this coming Saturday or Sunday. Maybe it was Sunday. The, all the details are in the description of the giveaway video. If you have not entered that yet, do it. I'm adding more stuff, okay? There's more than what's in the video in the giveaway because that's how I roll, all right? Just so you know. Make sure you follow all the directions because I'll be checking. I'll have a list, I'll check it once, I'll check it twice. Just like Santa Claus, only spookier. Yeah, something like that. <laughs>
<laughs> thank you again for coming by i do appreciate you and uh i hope you come back tomorrow my uh happy mail video will probably be combined with part of a haul and that'll probably be either later today or tomorrow when that comes out also coming up on tuesday more snacks around the world mm -hmm. more tutorial action on friday and whatever else i can film and get in there in the meantime thank you see you very soon bye y'all